Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look at a couple laptops purchased as refurb units from uh, Laptop Outlet Direct, uh, which is a trading name used by 5Tech LTD on eBay here in the UK. Now, these laptops were both purchased as refurbs because they had very good deals on them, and I just thought I'd take a quick look at what I got and whether I believe they were good value for money or not. So first of all, we have this which is a Acer Aspire 5 A514-54 laptop. So this is a Core i3 um, 11th gen with a 4 gigabyte um, of memory and a uh, 128 gigabyte SSD. And this came in from them at, I believe it was about 250 pound. Now the machine cosmetically from the outside is in very good condition pretty much perfect. Um, this was sold with a six month guarantee. That is slightly strange almost because I believe the date of manufacture for this machine, yep, was uh, March uh, 2021. So they have actually shortened the guarantee there from the 12 month that the manufacturer would normally give it. And having used this machine a little bit, really it's in very good nick. So the only real issue picked up with it, which we should see when we turn it on, now it's a little subtle here but there is some backlight bleed on the side of it. So powering back up the system and you can see on the left hand side when the backlight comes on, you have this bright spot here where there's just a little excess backlight bleed. Um, I would assume this is probably the reason that the original purchaser returned this machine. Um, for my use, it's not a problem. It wasn't listed in the description as having this, so um, whether they were hoping they could get away with it, uh, or you know, you're accepting that for the price you're going to get a machine which is not quite perfect. Um, otherwise, pretty good. Out of the box, the machine did come fully restored and sys prepped, um, so as you would expect for a new machine. And just looking at the um, sort of details of the SSD, which gives us an idea of how much the machine had been used before being resold, we can see the power on hours for the drive in this is 10 hours. So assuming they didn't replace the SSD, this is a machine which has been used very little. You'd expect even on a brand new system to see two or three hours maybe because the drive's going to be powered up, imaged, um, tested before shipping and so on. Uh, I've probably used it for about an hour as well since receiving it. So I think this was a machine that was returned pretty quickly probably because of that backlight bleed. Um, other aspects of it, so the machine came in its original box um, with the original manual and correct power supply. Um, the only real thing of note was that the power supply was wrapped in an elastic band which didn't really seem particularly necessary. Um, but like I say, cosmetically it was spot on. There's that backlight bleed which is tolerable, um, certainly at the price. But I could see why if you'd paid you know, £400 plus for this laptop you may have returned it with that. The second system we're looking at is then this, which is our Lenovo ThinkBook 14-inch uh, Gen 2. Uh, so this is a Core i5 um, 1135G7, 256GB SSD and 8GB of RAM. And this one I have not even opened yet. So we are seeing exactly as I've received it. It came in a plastic outer, um, but the machine itself, we can see the... Uh, seal on it has previously been broken and it has been re-taped up. So let's get it unboxed. Like I say, I have not touched this or opened the box at all. I haven't resealed it myself. This is exactly as it has come. So just going to break these two pieces of tape. Pull up here and remove the laptop from its box. So we can see here the machine isn't in uh, the sort of plastic bag you would expect it to be in, but has its original foam holding it in place. Quite interested to see one of these ThinkBooks. I used to be a really big fan of ThinkPads uh, and have yet to see the ThinkBooks, so interesting to see this. We have no manuals in the box, not that they are anything too much to get excited about. And we can see, so no elastic bands here, but we have our charger, and 
the UK power cable. So putting those to one side, charger is the original Lenovo 65 watt USB-C charger. And looking at the laptop itself, so no marks on the lid. Base looks in good condition as well. And opening it up and looking to the inside, all the original stickers look to be in place. And yes, I'd say generally this looks, you know, as new condition. Uh, this machine was purchased for £450 with a discount code. So I'm going to fire it up and check it over. So starting the machine up. And so unlike the... Um, the Acer, this one starts straight up, it has a user called user with no password on it. And it would appear that this machine, so we don't have the original um, Lenovo image on this system, so it has clearly just been reformatted, reinstalled with Windows 10. And let's just check device manager. So no missing devices, that's nice, but we don't have any of the Lenovo pre-installed software. Um, looking at other details, so it appears the machine has just been completely wiped. There is nothing in downloads, documents. Do we have any other users? No, just user. So it looks like this has just been, yeah, arrays, set up as user, um, Windows update run to bring it up to date. Pleasingly, as far as I can see, there is no issue with the backlight on this screen. All looks in good condition, so I'm going to be very happy with this as my um, new work laptop. And we can see, so it was, yeah, the 21st, uh, 21H1 version of Windows 10 Home, and it was installed eight days ago. So my impression would be, while the Acer was running the Acer factory image, um, this one has obviously just been wiped clean installed obviously depends how it was used initially it may have been a display model um, or a demo unit or similar but yeah very happy with this we'll be gladly using this as my machine once i've given it a good once over screen seems good cosmetically it seems perfect looking at this machine again we're going to uh, bring up crystal disk info And with this we can see, so again, assuming this is the original SSD, we have seven hours of usage on this one. So again, this is a machine that has received little to no usage. Um, it's been powered on 28 times. So I would think either they've replaced the SSD in this, or if it's the original SSD, it has received little to no use. I will be looking at this uh, laptop in more depth very soon for upgrade, guide and review. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me testing. One thing I did notice, which I wasn't particularly happy about on this ThinkBook, is that Secure Boot is disabled in the BIOS. Now whether this was because they, when they were reinstalling Windows for some reason, they installed it from a device without Secure Boot, um, but for whatever reason that was, I'm going to be switching that back on and reinstalling Windows again just from a USB stick so I know the provenance of it and that I'm happy with everything there. So overall with the buying experience from Laptop uh, Outlet Direct, I was pretty satisfied. The Acer at 250, um, that slight backlight bleed I view as acceptable. It's noticeable if you're using it in a dark environment. I can see why they discounted the machine to the extent that they did. I believe it was around £150 off new. Um, and for a basic fairly entry machine, it's a trade-off which I think is okay. That was sold with a six month warranty, although because the, what, the actual original date of manufacture is within the last year, you could probably find Acer would cover that back to the date of manufacture. Then looking at the ThinkBook, I actually registered this with Lenovo and it gives me a warranty date of two years and 11 months from now, so better than the one year which Laptop Outlet Direct uh, stated for the machine. Both machines had 30 day returns, so I could have just returned them if I wasn't happy. Um, again, there was a good saving on this Lenovo and I think that has been excellent value. I'm really looking forward to getting that used as my main work laptop. 
so I wouldn't really hesitate to um, you know, order from them again. There were a couple very small issues with the Lenovo and accepting that backlight bleed on the Acer. But on the whole, I think these were good value machines for what I received. Um, obviously, your mileage may vary. Um, always read the condition of the machine as they're listed. But having that 30-day return window on them, would, or 30 or 14 day, I think it was on the Acer, uh, I'd be quite happy to order in a machine and assess it on its condition before deciding whether to keep it or send it back. So I hope you found this video informative. Uh, do let me know in the comments what you think and what your experiences of buying these uh, buying systems from Laptop Outlet Direct are. And thanks for watching.